सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्ट्रॉय एनिमेशन विदाउट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी एड ऑन सी गाइज दैट मै लाइक अ रॉनी फ्रैक्चर इफेक्ट राइट एंड सेकेंड वन गाइज आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट सिनेमेटिक लाइटिंग ऑल्सो सो स्टॉप एंड गाइज नाउ आई शो यू माई वन फ्रेम रेंडर सो रेंडर एंड रेंडर इमेज चेक या सी गाइज दैट्स माई फाइनल रेंडर एंड गाइज लाइटिंग इज रियली परफेक्ट राइट सी गाइज दैट्स माई लाइक अ light ray effect so guys close and again play and one more time render image check see guys that's my brown fracture effect object destroy okay so guys close and guys now i create new project new check and guys select all and press delete key so guys import your any model so select this collection and append yeah See guys, that's my 3D model, and guys, I show you my texture. Yes, see guys, that's my hot 3D model. Okay, so guys, now I create two material. So firstly, guys, go to our material. See guys, that's my texture, first material, and guys, second one, guys, I create second material. So guys, second material, check this one, and for inner part, and guys, surface change like a glass BSDF check. and guys color like uh, anything so guys i will change color see guys that's my two material first upper texture and second one inner texture okay so guys select this object and go to on here and guys i apply this time self fracture this one so guys self fracture check and guys see that's my some setting so guys source limit like a uh, 340 is good and Guys, see that's my material. Material I like one because I create two material. So material one and collection name like uh, anything like a shatter effect and press OK. Yeah, see guys, that's my brawny fracture effect like a particle. Yes. Okay. See guys. So guys, go to one here and guys hide your first one. See guys, that's my brawny fracture effect. Right. Okay. So guys, next one. This time I apply. rigid body tag so guys select this first object and go to on here and rigid body check so guys all is good so don't change anything and after that guys select your first and guys now select all holding shift key object and guys rigid body so guys copy from active check yes so guys play okay so guys see that's my brawny fracture effect but guys i change gravity So guys, go to on here and gravity. I like zero and again check. Okay, see guys, that's not animate. And now, guys, this time I apply brawny fracture. Actually, turbulence. So guys, I create new collection and go to on here add and I apply turbulence check. So guys, some change some setting on strength here. So I like zero and guys, now go to like a. Seventy, seventy frame and strength check. Now, guys, go to like a eighty frame and strength. I like fifty and check. Yes. So, guys, go to on here screen and rigid body world. So, guys, I create baking. So, bake all dynamic check. Guys, take little bit time. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished and play. Yes. See, guys, that's my simple Rony fracture effect, right? it's looking really good so stop and again play and guys see that's my strength after 1780 frame it's looking really beautiful okay so guys all is good and now guys next one i apply force effect so guys again add and force check so guys go to an up and little bit increase force size so press s letter and increase size like this So guys, I change some settings. So guys, go to on here strength. I like zero, and guys, four strength check. So guys, go to like a hundred, hundred, and strength. I like a minus twenty, and check yes. And again, screen delete bake check, and one more time bake all dynamic check. And now guys, again play. Yeah, see guys, that's my simple. force effect okay so guys now stop it's not good so guys go to a back so guys this time 
select your force and shift d i create duplicate enter so go to on here so guys i change this time keyframe so guys select this frame shift like this yeah good so guys select this force 2 and go to on here 60 and delete back check so guys i change little bit strength like a minus 12 minus 12 check and guys check this one and guys see that's my first force effect so guys force effect i like 20 and second one guys force effect i like 12 yes and go to on again and bake all check okay so guys my baking is finished and again play yeah yes see guys that's my really cool object destroy and animation okay so guys now next one guys my animation is looking really good so guys i create cinematic lighting so stop and firstly guys i create cube so guys new collection check select and i take cube for fog effect so increase frame like this and guys now go to on here and viewport i like wire wire check and guys next one i take camera so go to on back and press 0 and guys select your camera and rotation 90 0 and 0 and guys change your y axis like this yeah good so guys select this cube and little bit smaller like more yeah good right okay so guys next one select this cube and guys i create foggy shadow effect so guys go to on shading and press 0 so guys i create new material so guys i take this time principal volume principal volume check and delete your principal bsdf so connect to volume right see guys that's my volume to volume connect so guys go to on here and guys i change render setting so guys cycle render and divide gpu check and sam 256 good for me yes see guys that's my like a foggy effect so guys go to on camera and guys i change density like a 0 0.04 enter yeah so guys i will change density so guys next one i take light so firstly guys i take like a area light area light check and that's my side light so guys rotation like this like a minus 90 yeah and increase size so guys power like a 1000 and size like a 10 and guys color i like blue color blue that's my side light right and guys select your light little bit back so duplicate so shift d enter go to one here and guys again rotate like a 90 enter yes see guys that's my simple area light and guys now click on here yeah good right and guys now go to on here world and i take black color black color this is perfect right and guys now i create light ray effect so guys this time i take here light and spotlight and guys go to an up so click on here yes so guys go to on here guys power i will change and radius 0 0.1 and guys power like a 5 and 4 times 0 like a 50,000 and guys go to on here spot size increase increase yes and guys blend i like 1 and increase height increase like this yeah see guys that's my simple lighting and up yeah good see guys that's my lighting okay so guys again press zero and guys color i like a uh, red color i like red and guys click on here yes see guys that's my beautiful lighting guys you can increase power so power like a uh, seven and four times zero more lighting yes this lighting is not good so i create like a light ray effect so guys now i take plane and guys plane size increase 
like this right and guys like a six yeah press zero one and go to on here like this yeah good okay so guys select this plane and shading and guys click on here so create new material so firstly guys shift a and i apply noise texture noise texture check and use color ramp shift a color ramp color ramp check so guys connect to this one and collect so guys see that's my color ramp connect to alpha yeah so guys click on here yes and guys now i change this time color ramp like this like a 0 0.3 and y axis change like a 0 0.5 yes and guys see that's my scale size increase i like uh, like a 20 and detail like a 20 yes see guys that's my roughness right light ray effect so guys now i change this time liner to constant yes see right see guys, that's my simple texture okay so guys again press zero layout and guys again click on here yes see guys that's my beautiful light ray effect right it's looking really good okay so guys my cinematic lighting is perfect and guys lastly i take one more light so guys front light and area light so go to one back and rotate rotate like this like a 90 and increase size so power i like 20, 200 size i like 10 is good 10 yes and again press 0 okay so guys i show you my one frame render so render and render image check yeah see guys that's my really beautiful lighting and render and lastly guys play guys i create inside lighting so guys stop yes see guys that's my particle effect and guys now i take this time area like point light point light check so little bit up so guys point light color like a 0 0.024 orange color and power like a 500 and guys now again render image check yes see guys that's my particle effect and guys now little bit up this point light point light up so guys go to one back and guys little bit down see guys that's my point light for inside lighting and guys go to one here yes and guys go to one here like this yes so select this light go to one here yes and again render and render image check see guys that's my beautiful lighting guys you can increase more lighting power strength is dependent on your work okay so guys that's it my final work if is finished so guys close and go to one back and guys see that's my frame rate i like 30 fps output so guys go to a desktop and create new folder and take any file name and accept check yes that's it guys so render and render animation check Okay, so guys, that's it. My final work is finished. So guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.